We will continue with the hopes, the hope of David. First Chronicles chapter 16. Remember his covenant, even to time indefinite, the word that he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he concluded with Abraham, and his sworn statement to Isaac, and which statement he kept standing as a regulation even to Jacob, as an indefinitely lasting covenant even to Israel, saying, To you I shall give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. This was when you happened to be few in number, yes, very few, and alien residents in it. And they kept walking about from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another people. He did not allow anyone to defraud them, but on their account he reproved kings, saying, Do not you men touch my anointed ones, and to my prophets do nothing bad. Give thanks to Jehovah, you people, for he is good, for to time indefinite is his loving kindness. And say, Save us, O God, of our salvation, and collect us together, and deliver us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name, to speak exultantly in your praise. Blessed be Jehovah, the God of Israel, from time indefinite to time indefinite. The Hope of Solomon. We're reading from 1 Kings chapter 8. When your people Israel are defeated before the enemy, because they kept sinning against you, and they indeed return to you and laud your name, and pray and make request for favor toward you in this house. Then may you yourself hear from heaven, and you must forgive the sin of your people Israel, and you must bring them back to the ground that you gave to their forefathers. In case they sin against you, for there is no man that does not sin, and you have to be incensed at them and abandon them to the enemy, and their captors actually carry them off captive to the land of the enemy, distant or nearby, and they indeed come to their senses in the land where they have been carried off captive. And they actually return and make request to you for favor in the land of their captors, saying, We have sinned and erred. We have acted wickedly. And they indeed return to you with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies who carried them off captive. And they indeed pray to you in the direction of their land that you gave to their forefathers, the city that you have chosen and the house that I have built to your name. You must also hear from heavens your established place of dwelling their prayer and their request for favor, and you must execute judgment for them, and you must forgive your people who have sinned against you, and you must make them objects of pity before their captors, and they must pity them, for they are your people and your inheritance, that your eyes may prove to be open to the request for favor of your servant and to the request for favor of your people Israel by listening to them in all for which they call to you. For you yourself separated them as your inheritance out of all the peoples of the earth, just as you, you have spoken by means of Moses your servant when you were bringing your forefathers out from Egypt, O Lord Jehovah. Again, the hope of Solomon, 1 Kings Chapter 9 And Jehovah went on to say to him, I have heard your prayer and your request for favor, with which you requested favor before me. I have sanctified this house that you have built by putting my name there to time indefinite, and my eyes and my heart will certainly prove to be there always. And you, if you walk before me, just as David your father walked with integrity of heart, and with uprightness, by doing according to all that I have commanded you. You will keep my regulations and my judicial decisions. I also shall indeed establish 
the throne of your kingdom over Israel to time indefinite, just as I promised David your father, saying, Not a man of yours will be cut off from sitting upon the throne of Israel. If you yourself and your sons should definitely turn back from following me and not keep my commandments and my statutes that I have put before you men, and you actually go and serve other gods and bow down to them, I will also cut Israel off from upon the surface of the ground that I have given them. And the house that I have sanctified to my name I shall throw away from before me. And Israel will indeed become a proverbial saying and a taunt among all the peoples. The Hope of the Sons of Asaph in Psalm 78 But he chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. Next we will do the prophets of the 8th century in the next video.